Guess what, guys? We hit 500,000 subscribers. What? Thank you so much to everyone who's watched the channel over the years. We'll have to do something special to celebrate, but later because I caught Keys' sickness. Curse you, Keys! Mm. So I won't be necessarily have the same sexy, sick voice that Keys has. That's another thing. Anyways, to, to the news. Jimmy. Is that what he says? With the light activation and silent tactile bump, Topper Type Heaven keyboards bring the best of both worlds. It's CES day one, yesterday was day zero, and there's too much news to handle. So you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Lightning round. Razer has come up with two innovative products. The first is the OSVR or the Open Source Virtual Reality Headset. The Hacker Dev Kit, as it's called, has pretty threadbare specs, but every detail of its software and hardware will be made public for the community to improve on. We'll see if that leads anywhere. Razer's other big product is Razer Forge TV, a micro console running Android TV that can also stream games from your PC. It has an optional controller, the Serval, which comes with a phone clip for mobile play and the turret lap board a combined keyboard mouse and mouse pad do either of razor's offerings look interesting to you leave a comment down below asus has revealed a 120 hertz 1440p ips display that may also support free sync but we'll have to wait to confirm that while asus surprises a 144 hertz ips 1440p panel that also supports nvidia's g-sync high res high refresh rate ips Eat it, compromise. Samsung has unveiled the credit card size portable 1TB SSD that they're calling the Portable SSD T1. Really broke the bank on naming that thing. A company called Energist has shown off a wireless power technology called WhatUp that uses routers to distribute power in much the same way as Wi-Fi, and it looks like it'll be here sooner than we thought. Gigabyte has followed in ASUS's footsteps by launching the X99 SoC Champion, a board with 2,083 pins rather than the standard 2011, allowing for better overclocking. Can't wait to get our hands on that one. Dell has stuffed a 4K display as an option in their new XPS 13 and 15 laptops, which have some crazy thin bezels. And Kodak has revealed their smartphone, the IM5, which they built in partnership with Bullet. It's got a big button skin of Android 4.4 KitKat and it looks like it's geared toward less technologically inclined people, but it's only $249 off contract. Uh, okay. Please no more, Jack has to rest. Oh wait, a tweet. Buenka! Buy select MSI motherboards from NCIX and get a free copy of Far Cry 4. Click here or the link in the description for details. All right, all right, all right. That's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Okay, time to get some chicken noodle soup. Mmm. <coughs> A company called Energist has shown off a wireless power technology called What Up that uses routers to distribute power in much the same way as Wi Fi. And it also looks like it'll be sooner than we thought. <laughs> what up?